Hello folks, welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. Well recently there has been an update, version 2 is now out. We were, well when I got the game and started recording it was towards the end of 1.8 or something so a new version is coming out which means these won't work anymore. So, uh, how, how do you, do you just delete them like that way or, alright delete game. So there's no point in having them if they no longer work, is there? Well they do work but we are not going to use them anymore. So, oh, no, sorry, pressed the wrong button there. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to start a new game. We're going to start with out the tutorial. We're going to start with. We'll start with two hundred thousand. The same as before. No, I don't want to unlock all research. We'll do that ourselves. Uh, fast builders, which is fine. So a number of updates has come out with this. Um, so if we check the research panel, uh, let's see where is it. There is that one at the very bottom. Bus transport is now available in the game, so we now have the ability to put down bus stops for buses. Now, oh, that's odd. When you zoom right out, it goes all black. That can't be right. That's not right. That's going to affect us in some way. Right, so previous uh, series, we made separate shops for everything. In this series I want to make it different. I want to have a super shop or super mall, whatever you want to call it. Everything in one place basically. And we're going to have a number of counters obviously because the amount of people that are going to be coming and going. So also what they've done is they've added the ability to rotate shelves, fridges, you know, that sort of thing, so we can now rotate things, not just the actual, um, like the counters, I know you can normally just ref do, da -da -da -da, uh, do that, and you could rotate the counters, so yeah, uh, so I'm going to build walls, over here, this is going to be the storage. So, if we're going to put the storage there, also they've changed the roads as well. So, if I want to build like, a road there, when the wee guys are actually building the road, they use like, a wee like a jackhammer icon, which is cool. Or oh, they're going to be stuck in there. I'm going to put a door objects. Or they came from the sides. Right, so, as, so you can see there's like a wee jack camera icon and it actually tells you if the roads aren't connected as well, which is handy. So we'll put that there, we'll put a staff door here and here. So this is going to be the base where we're. Alright, so if, if you're actually building it, shows you where you're built. So we don't need to go everywhere, so it could, we could see what we're doing. Right. So I want counter. Check out counter. So we put the counters along here. So this is going to be quite a big shop. So we're going to need quite a number of staff. Um, and. Possibly going to put them into three sections uh, when we get to 24 7. Uh, let's say we we'll, we'll, we'll want from like 6 till 4 can be quite busy, and then 4 till what was it 8 or something because the night shift will be pretty quiet. I'm not expecting that many people later on during the night, so we'll see what happens. Right, so we've placed that down, uh, we'll place some shelves and tables and... Let's 
So you now have the ability to say rotate like that. Obviously they won't be used just yet, but you can see we can now rotate those as well. I don't think we need all of that, but we should really just be putting down things that we will be using right away. See so like the food shells. So it's actually it is quite good to actually be able to rotate them. So we might want them here. Yeah, oh, uh, I want a gap between them every so often so this shell stackers can go between them. Uh, we need some normal shells. Uh, we need some fridges. That'll do. Right, so that's mm, pretty much what we can put down there now. Obviously, oh, not that one. We'll need to wait for them to get built. No. So we can start putting things down. So we've researched, basic research. I'm going to just let that go in order, to be honest. Oh, I know why we can't do that, because we need a sign. <laughs> I'm forgetting my games already. So that's obviously the storage. Uh, this will be the store. And then we assign that to that. Then we'll say from 6. So uh, just go as far as you can really. <laughs> so six to midnight really. So that's um that. So let's see if we can get them. Now we want two shells of each thing at least. Two of those, two of those. One. Oh, not that one. That one. Now we need food, we need a lot of food. One. Uh, two. One, two, one. We'll just put one, just for now, because <laughs> we're starting to run out of tables and stuff, which is odd. Toys, so that'll be them. So that's now fill. That will do for now. I don't think these can carry anything just yet. No. Okay, so they can wait. So we need six tall midnight. So we can do six tall six which is a 12 hour shift and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 oh it's all 2 sexes basically right uh, so we need cashier you come in 6 to a 12 hour shift you come in at 6 to a 12 hour shift Come in at 
do a 12 hour shift we'll see how that is starting off then we'll do 6 in the evening uh, hold on, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 right, so actually only 6 hours shift these two you need to do uh, then we'll need what's that one two one two, three one two three four five six I'll put one more so I don't think we need that many to start off with, but later on we will need to add more, a lot more staff. And we need a clerk from 6 to 6. And we'll need another clerk. 6 till midnight. Yeah. So we'll let that run. Uh, select. So I th don't think they come out this day, so they'll probably start the next day. Which is fine. What we will need though is a uh, road. Road work. So we need customers. What like that get about? So we need like um, staff parking and what have you. because that's not a road I might need to remove that parking bit no oh, it does connect though but because of the way it's built so we need uh, Oh, it's because I need to put the road over here, that's why. And then we need... We'll put another line of, Well, we need the garbage pickup close by. And need loading zone. So that they can actually load up the materials. So those will just keep filling up. And get the staff to stock up. Hopefully by the next day. A little bit of a weird start for us, but we're moving. We're moving. You can't really lose in this game. You'll be an idiot if you lose in this game. But those no stock up. Then we'll see what we'll have to do after that. So they're all full, they'll show up. Need staff, parking lot. So the wee guys are just going to fill up the store. Uh, 
gonna be dick having only four this but I would assume we've got enough areas for now. Probably do a bit more car park space here. Uh, bow down there, bow down here. I'm getting a bit of lag in this game for some reason. It never really lags with this. But saying that, my games have been pretty laggy for the last few days. <laughs> Must be the computer. Must need something done. So the shop's starting to pick up a bit now, which is fine. We'll just let research build on its own. So the stock's pretty much done now, which is good. So staff will be heading away. They've done their jobs for today. Obviously because we've not researched 24-7 yet, we can't open it 24-7. But we are currently researching um, cold food. Hold on a minute, did I see that? Mm, no. I thought I seen something there. <laughs> oh well. We'll go through this day and then that will probably be us for this episode. So we'll hopefully start profiting. We'll obviously need a lot more shells and as we start unlocking new stuff we'll need a lot more cashiers and what have you and this will be just one massive shop basically and including the restaurant as well we're going to put in it so what are we at so far it's a net loss hmm. give it time once we start getting more uh, research the shop should profit What do we get? We get fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, meat, fish, milk and dairy. So that will be coming out soon. Which is fine. Everyone just going for the stuff in that corner. The fridges look different. Look, I think they've changed the texture on the fridges. Because they used to be like, you know, the, like the wee three layers or something. I think they've changed the texture of the, the fridge in this new update. Mm, cool. Interesting. 
But that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, the new update, uh, the version 2 of the alpha release of Another Brick in the Mall. We've started up our little super mall. It's going to be much bigger once we get to the end of it. So until next time, take care. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye for now.